Hawk, it's great to have you. Talk about what is driving the strength right now in this increasingly uncertain global growth environment. Uh, definitely, um, uh, our strategy of the uh, premiumization has been so much successful to bring attention of the uh, uh, drinkers. So um, we've been working on uh, uh, premiumized uh, brands. Um, that is uh, the key factor. Even though the headwind is ahead and the, you know, we are on the way as well. And plus uh, sure. supply chain affected, but uh, we could go through those difficulties. I want to talk about both of those things, but to your strategy around premiumization, what, what are you seeing right now from the consumer as far as trading down to brands that are less expensive? How much is it happening and where? I think uh, consumer are still wanting to enjoy the uh, premium brands. Um, even uh, they do not sell, I mean, buy uh, luxury uh, and uh, uh, big stuff. So um, I think uh, the tendency has been staying around. And plus, uh, we've been increasing the quality and uh, we put uh, investment to the, the distilleries in Kentucky as well as uh, UK. That is, uh, uh, I think, an uh, appealing point for consumers. They got to know the uh, improved quality. I think that's our strategy. What about the supply chain? Has it improved? Yes, uh, we've been uh, uh, more or less uh, increasing uh, uh, inventory quite earlier by catching the uh, information that uh, uh, we will we would face uh, uh, challenges. And uh, for soft drink uh, uh, segment, segment uh, we still um, uh, picking up our inventory level. So we took uh, very early action uh, to face up with the, uh, the challenge, such as in China, such as uh, um, uh, East Asia, which are the center of the uh, supply chain. What are you seeing as far as trends, Tak? I feel like for a while there, there was this move into hard liquor, especially scotch and whiskey, which has been great for you. It feels like now tequila is, is having a moment. I know you have a few tequila brands, but I'm wondering if you think that it's, it's a lasting trend or just a fad or what? I think a definitely tequila trend uh, is a, a key factor for us to focus on. And plus, it, it, this trend will last uh, you know uh, quite a lot and uh, uh, we have to definitely be more focused on tequila as well as American whiskey still American whiskey is doing great but uh, we have to be more uh, 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 put the more attention to tequila everyone on my Instagram feed is drinking agave based tequila so I'm, I'm not surprised to hear you say that talk quick question on Japan because we've seen the Japanese yen weaken significantly. Obviously, that, that's helpful for your earnings. What, what's it going to mean, ultimately, for the Japanese economy as it tries to come out of the COVID slump? As a matter of fact, the uh, current uh, Japanese yen's uh, uh, situation is not good for Japanese consumers because um, it's uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, difficult for or consumers to accept the price hike. So we can't increase the prices so easily because uh, their mindset is uh, still in deflation. So um, it's, it's a huge challenge uh, in Japan.